Hey everyone, it's Matt. So we got some uh, unfamiliar territory with a very familiar name. This is the Garmin Dual Lens Tandem Dash Cam, which is now available at Best Buy and online at bestbuy.ca. Um, I haven't reviewed a Garmin Dash Cam before, so I'm pretty excited. And uh, actually, I haven't reviewed a Dash Cam with two 180 degree views as well. So the Dual Lens is uh, one outside of your vehicle, of course, and one inside the cabin of your vehicle. Let's take a look at some of the other features included. So it's 1440 uh, Garmin Clarity recording outside of your vehicle, and it's 720p inside and 720 night vision as well. Uh, pocket size design, wait till I open this up and show you how small this thing is. It uh, piggybacks onto their Galileo GPS system as well, so that you'll always have your GPS coordinates and your speed tracked. Um, here it talks about withstanding the sun in hot temperatures. Well, it it uh, operates in temperatures of up to 80 degrees Celsius, which is probably the highest that I've seen. Uh, full cooperation with the Garmin Drive app, which I'll talk a little bit about near the end of the video, but I will let you know as well with a pocket size design, there's no uh, touch screen on this. So really you're gonna be expected to work with your uh, phone a fair bit to view footage, or of course you can just plug it into your computer as well. There's a G sensor as well. Um, this does not come with a hardwire kit, but you can get a hardwire kit for it if you'd like to hardwire it to the vehicle so that you can take full advantage of the G sensor. It's um, got localized Wi-Fi and you'll be doing firmware updates through the Wi- I'm sorry, through the app as well. And it comes with a 16 gig micro SD card. So uh, it does come with a can with it does come with memory. Uh, you can upgrade it. Now I in checking around, I wasn't sure how high of, uh, of a memory card you could get for this. I know Garmin recommends no less than eight, um, eight gigs, and I'm sure this can probably support 64 or 128 gig, but uh, do remind you as well that you do need to that 32 partition it prior to, uh, prior to operation. So this is the camera, and look how small it is. It's also on the world's smallest mount. This is a magnetic mount, so you'll be attaching the magnet to your windshield and then just clipping it in that way. This is the way that the rear looks and this is the front camera. So let's get this attached to my car. Let's show you the Garmin Drive app and let's go for a drive. So just something as uh, as we get started here placement wise, this is a pretty small camera with the front and a back um, camera here. So you have to make sure that you place it properly and you don't place it too high up here so that it's obstructed, it's obstructed by your rear view mirror. Uh, a little bit more along the lines of the next base 322 that I reviewed not too long ago. Not quite like the Gecko Owl Scout, which uh, had the camera hanging from the bottom of the unit here. You'll notice this. This is actually where I've chosen to place it. And uh, you'll see that it actually clips in quite nicely with a magnet here. So um, I'm going to plug this in momentarily. There were two cables in the box. One cable is the actual power connection for this, and the other is actually a data transfer cable. So you're going to be taking this to your computer and uh, watching your footage back on there um, if you'd like to do that. As you can see, there's no touch screen to be found on this one. It's a fairly compact camera, so you're not going to be able to watch it directly from the camera while you're sitting in your car. Um, one of the recommendations is that you format the, the micro SD card prior to use. There's a little microphone button down here, and you just have to hold that for eight seconds and watch this light up once this is plugged in. Our next step is to connect this to the Garmin app here. So the recommendation is you hold this down till this turns blue, and then you go to your Garmin Drive app to sync up. The Garmin Drive app is absolutely fantastic and syncs up in no time at all. Unlike other dash camera apps, it'll just automatically connect to your phone every time you open it, which means a really good hands-off experience in the end. No fiddling and pressing buttons on the camera. Just open the app and you'll be ready to watch everything you've recorded. It'll automatically combine your front and back videos into one view you can toggle back and forth on as well. Their saved in memory is different and uncompressed MP4 formatted videos though, so you don't have to worry about whether they're separated somehow on the camera or not. The mobile app is solely where you can toggle a few limited changes on your dash cam. One of the more important things is audio recording. For some reason it's defaulted off on this camera and you have to manually turn it on. Just keep in mind that recording options are basically defaulted to what Garmin believes is the best everyday operation, so you don't have to change it too much. So we're going to do a little bit of testing of the voice commands here, and the voice commands start with the terms OK Garmin. And if you heard that beep, uh, that beep is OK Garmin initializing. So we're going to try a couple things out here. OK Garmin, take a picture. 
Okay, Garmin, take a picture. Okay, Garmin, save a video. It's just as easy as that. It's really impressive, actually, how quickly the camera initializes when you start your car and how quickly the app initializes when you, um, uh, when you open it up. As I mentioned, because of the size of this camera, you're not going to be able to view any footage directly from a touch screen or something like that and anything that you've gotten used to with other dash cams. And so um, it more than makes up for it with the app functionality and the ease of use there. I spoke off the top about memory cards. While this comes with a 16 gig memory card, it won't last long. The video you heard me save in the voice command clip back then was about 500 megs, and it was only a few minutes long. Expect on a 16 gig card that you'll probably get about 90 minutes or so of footage, maybe a little bit longer. Most importantly, remember that you do have to FAT32 partition any card that you purchase over 32 gigs, so make sure that's done before you pop it into your camera. A couple questions that I did want to answer as we, as we close out this review. Um, number one, do you have the ability to add other cameras directly to this one? So you know that this is one for inside the cabin of your vehicle and also facing outside. Can you add a rear view camera? Well, no, you can't add one directly to this camera, but the Garmin Drive app does allow you to add up to four more cameras um, and create your own little localized ecosystem. So in indirectly, yes, you can. Um, can you record in other frame rates outside of 30 frames a second? Well, no, unfortunately you can't. So those of you that like recording in 60 frames a second, um, and I know that's a big deal amongst uh, some people that really like to share their footage on social media, uh, 30 frames a second is where you're going. However, do keep in mind that you are able, this does record in default inside and outside your vehicle at a 180 degree, um, at 180 degree angles, which is, again, it's pretty unprecedented. I mean, the most that I think I've seen on any dash cam I've reviewed before this one was 145 degrees. Um, so that said, this does have a lot going for it. You're not gonna miss the fact that there's no LCD screen to watch your footage because the footprint on this is so small and the drive app cooperates with the camera so well that you really don't need a screen. It's it's almost it, it's almost as fast as your uh, as you're viewing anything on your on your phone. Uh, do I recommend this camera? Yeah, absolutely. I recommend this camera. It's uh, it's a great little thing, and I think um, given everything that it offers, uh, given the fact that it comes with memory, given the fact that it's dual camera and that one little package, uh, it's it's worth the price tag, and it's definitely worth taking a look at if this is the type of camera that you want, especially if you're somebody that um, uh, does ride sharing and needs a view inside the vehicle at all times. Um, just in terms of in terms of memory, um, any memory card that you do have to buy, Garmin does recommend that you do have it FAT32 partitioned. So if you're going to be uh, getting a memory card that's more than 32 gigs, make sure that it is partitioned properly prior to uh, operating it on this. Uh, camera otherwise you're probably gonna face some error messages so this was the Garmin tandem dual lens dash cam now available at Best Buy and online at bestbuy.ca my name is Matt thanks for watching the review I do recommend that you subscribe to our channel for more video reviews like this in the future take care and we'll talk to you next time